Guys, the TikTok tea just keeps getting hotter and hotter. Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Today we're going to be investigating Trisha Paytas coming for Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio for a controversial video they posted to their family channel. We'll also be looking at Charlie breaking down and apologising, Dixie going off on her fans and Charlie dragging Trisha. So get your popcorn ready, grab a seat and let's get into the tea. Charlie D'Amelio, girl, do you really want to be known as that ungrateful influencer? Not gonna lie, Charlie is becoming less and less relatable as the weeks go by. Charlie has a pretty good life, better than most. She's making millions off her 99 million followers, but she's upset she hasn't hit 100 million yet. Wow. Um, could you be a bit more grateful, hun? In a recent video posted to the D'Amelio family YouTube channel, the family had dinner with none other than James Chihuahua, and basically Basically, here's what happened. Oh, I wish it, I wish I had like more time. Cause imagine if I hit a hundred mil a year after hitting a mil. Was the 95 not enough for you? Charlie's fans were literally horrified at her ungratefulness and agreed with James Chihuahua for calling her out. Money can't buy class. Why does it sound like she isn't grateful for millions of people supporting her? Y'all, James literally looks like he's done with everything. Ellie Mayo. James actually took to social media not long after Charlie started receiving backlash and he defended her. He had said, Charlie is so grateful for everyone that supports her. I was just joking with with her when I said this. I don't like these comments dragging her. Now Charlie being ungrateful wasn't the only thing fans were annoyed at. In fact, it gets worse. Within the video, Dixie D'Amelio was seen throwing up after she'd taken a bite to eat. And bear in mind her personal chef had actually made her this food, so she looked extremely disrespectful. Basically, Dixie started responding to comments after fans started cancelling her in her appearance for this whole disrespectful fiasco. Someone had said her mum always looks so embarrassed of her, but then when Charlie acts like a five-year-old, she laughs about it. No. Bruh, her parents, she's so dramatic, when they should be checking on their daughter that just threw up. I'm 19 and can handle myself throwing up, lol. Why does Dixie's parents treat her so badly? They don't. That family is toxic. Nah. Cancel Dixie's parents 2020. Why? Dixie then said, these comments are so extra. I could throw up at the smell of something gross. I am being dramatic and my parents deal with my BS every day, Ali Mayo. I don't get treated differently and there is no favourite child. The internet just always wants to turn people against each other. Charlie's dad Mark had then posted a video to TikTok defending Dixie's actions. So Dixie, sometimes when you eat food you don't like, you puke. Sometimes. It's disgusting. And we know that because we are her parents, and we've seen this happen time and time again. <laughs> like, oh my God, stop trying to cancel my parents for calling me dramatic. She's a little dramatic though. Peace. So it gets worse. Trisha also joined in on the bandwagon, calling out Dixie and Charlie for their behavior and absolutely dragged them in a recent TikTok post. Okay, so I just did a reaction to this video of the D'Amelios and James Charles having dinner with a chef. And I've seen lots of comments from Dixie saying, like just kind of being really combative and bratty towards people who had criticisms of the girls. There's a chef making the food, they're being really disrespectful, just spitting out the food. And they're 19, they're young, but I do think since they are role models on such a big platform, they should be called out when they need to be humbled a little because you see this happen all the time. People get really famous, a lot of followers really quickly. They think they're entitled to 100 million. They complain that they only have 95 million followers. They complain that they have a personal chef and it's just unbecoming. And I don't think it's something to be embarrassed about because they are young girls, but to be catty and bratty in the comments when the people are just like, hey, we're kind of like, this isn't cool behavior. It's just trying to help them learn and ultimately not get canceled because this kind of attitude, it won't get you far, period. Dixie had then responded to Trisha's video by apologizing to her personal chef. Sorry, Chef Aaron May. I don't like snails, but I love you. See you next week for the next episode of Dinner with the D'Amelios. Chef Aaron May is a close family friend and we love him and everything he does. I am so grateful of everything I am given and every opportunity I have. He was standing behind the camera telling me to eat a snail, knowing that I would have a reaction. In no way would I ever want to come off as disrespectful because it was all jokes. I have a sarcastic 
sense of humour that I have showed over my time of putting myself on the internet, but I have all love for every single person I work with and would never disrespect anyone. So, when Charlie started losing followers, and I mean millions of followers, she took to her live stream and started crying and apologised, and then she also came for Trisha Paytas. I draw the line and honestly like seeing sorry seeing how people reacted to this like i don't even know if i want to do this anymore like this is messed up stuff that people are saying like people telling me to hang myself people just like blatantly disrespecting the fact that i'm still a human being is not okay at all and people making fun of the fact that it's just like that's not okay you can hate on me for whatever i've done but the fact that all of this is happening because i a misunderstanding like i just feel like that's not okay and if this is the community that i'm in and the community that i put myself in i don't know if i want to do that anymore and i know that this is going to be a huge joke to whoever sees it but like at the end of the day just like being the hit a huge huge milestone a year after hitting another milestone i never meant for you guys to or did not mean anything and i definitely tried to like just explain to james like dude that would be so cool to like hit one milestone after a year after hitting another milestone and that was obviously taken the wrong way too and i don't want you guys to think that i don't care or think that i think you guys are numbers i was also extremely excited because I do have something really really amazing that's going to help out a lot of people like it's going to help you guys that's why I was so excited it's like a huge thing that I've been so excited to do and I really wanted to share it with you guys that's why I was so excited for a hundred mil and like I thought that was gonna be something really really cool that I get the other thing is some people are just getting involved just to get involved and like I'm just gonna say it Trisha Paytas like this is not sorry just, you have been completely rude to me multiple times, saying I, she doesn't have a personality, she can't dance, she's basic, like, you have your own problems, please stop worrying about mine. Um, and that's all I have to say on that, quite honestly, I just, like, please stop talking about me. I just, you're not a very nice person. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I love every single person that supports me and follows me and I hope you guys know that and I don't know, I'll see you guys soon. Trisha has since responded to Charlie and we literally never hear Trisha apologize for anything ever, so this is big. But before she apologized, she of course blamed James Charles for his influence on Charlie. So Charlie called me out on her live. Now Charlie is a minor, so I'm going to try and just handle this with literal kid gloves because she is a child and I understand that. It's concerning how her parents raised her and that she's hanging out with James Charles because now she has adopted James Charles' mentality of the keep my name out of your mouth. She told me to stop talking about her and that she's been rude when she, that I've been rude when she's literally the most followed person on social media. That's what she signed up for. Um, and I haven't been rude. I've given constructive criticism uh, as far as this situation goes because I really do feel for her and I do think it is uh, her parents' poor raising that gave them the manners that they have. And she lumped me in a category of people telling her to kill herself, which I've never encouraged, nor have I encouraged hate or anything. I was always saying stuff with constructive criticism she specifically goes on to say trisha paytas you have your own problems stop worrying about mine as if to say i'm the crazy one on the internet i'm the mess nobody likes me blah 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 and that's hey that's that's totally fine and i'm not worried about you i'm, I'm commentating on poor behavior because that's the only way you're going to be able to grow and change and it looks like you have remorse it looks like you're upset and crying and i am completely sorry if people are telling you to kill yourself that's so wrong on so many levels but you can't <laughs> you can't go james charles and say keep my name out of your mouth when your whole career and livelihood is based on social media 
people talking about you and watching what you do. It's, it's you call me out, but why don't we call out people that are actually being harmful and detrimental to your growth? James Charles, your parents, everyone saying that your behavior is okay. People are just getting involved just to get involved. And like, I'm just gonna say it, Trisha Paytas. And again, I know she's a minor, but it's the people around her feeding this. It's not getting involved just to get involved. You're, you're, you're number one trending on Twitter right now. To the Today Show is publishing articles. Like, it's so clear she's specifically calling me out because of the people in her life, specifically James Charles, which, why are you hanging out with a minor? It was weird when Tati did it to you, and look how that turned out, and, and now you're hanging out with an actual, like, child. It's concerning, but all of this screams him, because he also told me to keep my name out of his mouth when... That's how you guys are making money. That's how you guys are millionaires at such a young age and and owning houses. Because it's the internet. What? Supports me and follows me. And I hope you guys know that. And baby girl, in the same breath you asked me not to talk about you and I don't know you. You can't just say I'm not a nice person because, sweetheart, you don't know me. And... Once again, I have to remind you, this is the internet. This is this is social media. People are allowed to give opinions. And what I said wasn't even that bad. You have very entitled behavior, both you and your sister. And it's unbecoming. And just like other people in your life, I've seen you guys come and go. The sense of entitlement is not cute. It's unbecoming. And... This is not how you're going to last on social media, no matter how many followers you have now. Don't be, don't be having double standards. Sorry, just you have been completely rude to me. Being held accountable for your actions online, for behavior that I think is not acceptable, isn't rude. You said, Trisha Paytas, you've been rude to me multiple times. We've never met. There are people being way harsher on you, saying you deserve to get canceled, you deserve to lose followers. I don't think so. I, of all people, have grown from people telling me, hey, this isn't cool behavior. Change, that's how we grow. In all sincerity, I hope you do grow. You obviously have an it factor that people like, but this isn't it. And I'm very thankful you called me out specifically so you can hopefully hear what I have to say and not listen to other narcissists in your life, grown adults who shouldn't be hanging out with you as a minor. I don't blame you and I want to see what's best for you. At the end of the day, again, I don't wish anyone to be canceled. I give some outside perspective. I give my opinions because again, it's social media. People are allowed to give their opinions. I understand so many people hate me and dislike me and think I made poor choices in my life and my career on social media. And you know what? That's okay. In turn, I have a pretty good life. I I do appreciate the followers I do have. I can't make everybody like me. But to call me out in a lie where she's crying and saying people are telling her to kill herself, putting the both together and then in the same breath, like putting me in the same category as them and in the same breath saying, don't talk about me. I heard you're not a nice person. Again, she's a minor. I guess she's 16. So I understand someone needs to intervene and step in and not her family and not James Charles. And I really do wish her well. Truly, truly, truly. And never let influencers or anyone tell you to not comment, not give your opinions, your beliefs, your thoughts. Don't let anyone tell you not to call someone out if you think someone's in the wrong Spreading hate is one thing and it should never be tolerated. Bullying should never be tolerated. Telling someone to kill themselves should never be tolerated. Um, But don't let anyone ever silence you. You're allowed to have your opinions. And when people put themselves online, they have to accept other people's criticism, critiques, and opinions. Not hate, not bullying, but critiques and criticism. Since Charlie is a minor, her parents are responsible for what she sees and what comes in her comments and so forth. Also, who she hangs out with. She may not be ready to be on social media the way that she is, and her parents need to limit or restrict her access to social media, in my opinion. 
Um, she may be ready, I don't know, but in my opinion, she needs some professional outside help with how to deal with the fame that she has. Final thoughts to Charlie. Charlie, you are a minor. I sincerely apologize for hurting your feelings in any capacity at that age. I know it could feel like the worst thing in the world. What you're going through now may feel like the whole world is crashing down on you, but you still have a chance to have a really amazing career. What you did in the actual video wasn't that horrible. You weren't being hateful or spiteful. You were being a 16 year old. It was, it was bad behavior, it was bratty behavior. I know you realize that now you show true remorse and I think that's great growth. And for my part, I sincerely apologize for hurting your feelings or offending you in an incapacity. Not my intention. I cannot imagine being 16 with the amount of eyes you have on you. I hope that you continue to grow and I hope that you know that you are so worthy of life and you are so worthy of love and you are so worthy of what you had. Like I said, what you did was very minor. People just wanted you to take accountability. You did. And for my part, I'm sorry if I made you feel bad. And finally, to the viewers who consume content on social media, you are allowed to have your opinion and to voice your opinion. Please do so without hate speech refrain from bullying or attacking someone's personal appearance or looks i take people parodying me as a compliment it's very snl if people parody me or make jokes about me i take it with a grain of salt i do drive a bentley so thanks to those who keep talking about me i truly appreciate that most of the time most of the time to those who dislike me I cannot make everyone like me, but you know I'll keep trying till the day I die Cause I have complexes and just want everyone to love me, which I know will never happen, but I'm gonna keep trying I get some people to convert to the Trisha fandom This is Trish talk, bitch In all sincerity, if you want someone to grow and change, be kind, be nice I'm gonna take the rest of the day off TikTok I love you Love yourselves, love each other Bye An overall message to creators over 18 Hey, if you're over 18 and you're an influencer, people are allowed to talk about you. That's how you make millions of dollars doing very little work. For creators over 18, not all comments that disagree with you are hate comments. Some is known as constructive criticism. Some people actually do want you to grow, succeed. People are rooting for you and want you to do better if you mess up. And guess what? I've messed up over 100 times and people are still rooting for me and wanting me to do better. Therefore, I listen. I listen to the people who watch my content because they are the ones who give me a job, who support me, who make me feel good about myself, and also just want me to do do better. If you're a content creator over 18 and I have called you out, I really truly just want you to do better. I'm allowed to give my opinion. You are allowed to not agree with it or listen to my advice, but I am allowed to do it. That's how social media works. That's how social media stars make their money. People talking about them. This is a new age celebrity, baby. Get used to it. So what are your guys' thoughts on Charlie being ungrateful and Dixie being disrespectful? Are their true colors shiny now that they're loaded social media superstars? Let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm.